My name is John McDonald. I'm the editor and trainer for Cactus Communications. And today I'd like to go through a few language tips to improve your academic writing. When writing a sentence, it's important to recognize that position has meaning. When writing sentences, when writing paragraphs in English, the front of the sentence has the most important information. The lower part of a paragraph or the second part of a sentence provides explanation. And so the subject in a sentence is very important. This means that at the front of the sentence, you need to put the focus, the key thoughts, or whatever you as a writer consider the most important information up at the beginning. Let's take a look at these two sentences. Both of these are grammatically correct, but the focus changes. In the first example, it's the fight that's the focus, and in the second sentence, the relationship is the focus. And so as a writer, you need to recognize that what you put at the front of the sentence, the reader perceives as being the most important information in that sentence. There's a lot of confusion about using the passive voice. The use of the passive voice is to take the human out of the sentence. And so when you have a sentence like data were collected from 5,000 patients by the physician, that by the physician isn't really important in the sentence and can be cut. And so it's instead of saying by the physician, you can just say, data were collected. If it's important that the physician did it, not the nurse, not the researcher, but the physician, then using the active voice, this becomes the physician collected data from 5,000 patients. In academic language, in academic writing, there's already a large number of very complicated terms. And so if you don't need to use a complicated term, use something simple. Your reader will appreciate it. What does this mean? Let's take a look at two more examples. Initial categories were then subsumed into more encompassing categories. That's a rather difficult sentence to understand. Why not make this simpler? Initial categories were then expanded to include a greater number of factors. Both of these have the same meaning, but in the first sentence, we have a higher level of vocabulary, which makes it more difficult for the majority of you readers to process. To write more clearly, it's not just enough to use a little bit simpler language when possible. It's also necessary to cut unnecessary words. Let's take a look at another example. Brain injury incidence shows two peaks. The rates are highest in the very young and in the elderly. Why not get rid of unnecessary words and write this simply as brain injury incidence peaks in the very young and the elderly? Nice, simple, same meaning, but only about half the words. And if you're trying to reduce your word count in a paper, this becomes very important. Just say things simply, clearly, and make it easier to process. Thank you for listening to the session.